What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Journeyman episode in Football Manager 2022. So, first off, first and foremost, uh, lately, when I say lately, it's more so been the last few days. I haven't been feeling the best physically. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I just suppose I wanted to put a disclaimer out there, even if it's nothing serious, just it could be, oh, I might need a break for a week, rest for a week. And yeah, then I just want to get that out there. So I don't feel like I need to make a video or if I'm not able to make a video, I feel comfortable that I've at least mentioned it for those that have clicked on this video, I suppose. Uh, just, yeah, as a simple disclaimer, but yeah, I'll definitely find out more details. And even if I'm not 100% in this video, give it a little bit of explanation, but I know I'll try and be my most, my most like uplifting or <laughs> trying to portray it myself at the best. But yeah, and no, it's not, <laughs> it's not COVID. But anyway, I did want to put a little disclaimer out there. If after this video, there isn't <laughs> a video for a while, but you know, I could be, I could be fine in a couple of days and it won't be a major issue just like to cover all bases but where we're at now you know the last episode we did a bit of the review of the last five seasons in the journeyman last slash first five seasons uh but this month september's been pretty good we've had some games uh, we should have won and we did so uh we've we haven't been uh or the squad like we've had a bit of issue in depth in terms of our wingers which we know about but we've We've survived with the lads that have gone out there. You can see the goal scorers. Uh, so we're going to play today against KV Mechelen. And again, because I'm simply like I'm not 100%, hopefully you guys understand just one game uh, in this episode. But yeah, against KV. Well, I can't just call them KV because uh, you see the following game is against the team. <laughs> They're KV as well. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that game and, and hopefully have a good performance. We want to put our eyes on the finances so we can focus on something else. Uh, not the youth, uh, even though we always love talking about the youth. Right now, the expenditure this month, see, um, that's going to be uh, like the first uh, few years. Yeah, player wages, bonuses. That takes a portion. Um, but I guess our, if we go the individually, if we take a look at the income this month, the, even player sold is into that as well. So there's some income money wise. And last month, if we compare to the expenditure, of this month, yeah, the the wages are really, really heavy, but of course, we've needed to bring in better players and more staff, so yeah, uh, it's interesting where we're going to get more money from. See, yeah, uh, we were starting with Mert, we were playing Jean over on the right wing, uh, but now, yeah, all these Pardel, Tarasuk, yeah, they were both out in last few games, uh, injuries, so Pardel comes back in, Mert will drop out, He's, yeah, he was okay. Uh, feel a bit more comfortable with that attacking three. Mert definitely makes the bench for someone who's not as fit. Amok Rain has had really good develop. Oh, yes, he's kept it up. I'm glad he has. Sometimes you get into a new week and, yeah, the arrows change. But, no, he's he's held really, really strong. See, that's why, yeah, what I was explaining, you get it. I've upgraded Gardy, Garby, <laughs> Garby to the first team uh, because we are a little bit skeptical uh, of our depth like we do need Tarasuk at least yeah we need him on the bench just a bit of depth again these guys will that's not fit or their sharpness is not there I think we're gonna get I want to try this guy what as a bench because he you could drop him in a like a right midfield position so he might do okay then we play Gomez um you see we brought him to play at left back the right back which he played last couple games I mean, he's done respectable. It's funny how things these things work sometimes. So I reckon this is what we'll try. Benedetti we brought in for the last one. Uh, Popovich, it, it, it's really, they're a bit in between. Like, I want to try this. Oh, yeah. I Just to show you guys. He's the 19 jumping reach. You know, young lad, 21. Uh, got his first cap for Iran, so he'll start to get that international experience. Yeah, see how he goes. So he progress into the match. Oh, the must look at this. I guess we need one of these homegrown guys on the bench, and that should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about wanting to be this team. I'm not sure that yellow-red is a very good omen. It's like they give away fouls and get yellowed and red. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Obviously, it might not be the meaning, but yeah, managed by Jap Stam. Interesting game coming up. Uh, team talks. Pick up where you left off last time out, but not just that. The last few games, I've been 
overall pretty happy. Okay, good reaction. We know that's going to go away, just how it goes. But he gets it back. That's happened multiple times where he's lost it. Or, you know, he's got it, the inspired and motivated, the green, loses it, then gets it back. So <laughs> we move. But here they are with a chance early. Are we going to defend this? It's Walsh out wide. Oh, come on. See, I know when they look likely for a chance. Oh, my God. I didn't expect to be a penalty. Oh, the... It feels like... <laughs> How often do you see me give away a penalty or our team? Is It, it has to be... Yeah, it looked too likely. I don't generally see penalties not awarded in that moment. More often than not, they are. And to be fair, it looked like a penalty. Oh, what a save by Wallace. And I think that's an... Yeah, it's definitely not the first time you saved the penalty. But I mean, that you could, we could easily go behind there. So you might say, it's a slight worry. <laughs> the fact they are happening. And instruction-wise, we, we don't have get... Nah. If you have get stuck in, you could ask questions. That always gives it a reason why. But yeah, when you're not either way about it, we haven't got anything selected in that part. So, come on. We're not letting him get through too easily, not at the moment anyway. Shoof gets, gets it back. Come on, win this. Yeah, so he. I expect him to be really good in the air with that jumping reach ability and on show. <laughs> Here we go. Al Hadj, everything he does. And then Jean, oh... Not quite. Good chance. So it's expected Wallison is our best rated player for this game after saving the penalty and keeping us in it. But we've been incredibly lackluster. Home game. We're really going to go after this right now. Let's see what they're going to do, though. Come on. Nardi. Shoofs. It, oh, good tackle. I guess Gonsolvi's there. Yep. Come on. He is on a yellow, so you want to be careful. So that says a lot. He actually got a successful tackle, and now we're going to have our chance. We we hope, we actually hope it will be for us, that is. Now, Pardal. Yeah, yeah. Surely, we're going to find. Yes, yeah, get out wide now. Diego. Oh, it's just the movement of the players works well. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. We built that up just like lovely, and it's just nil nil after we we had we hadn't get a shot on target. No, nah, not happy with that. And forty percent possession, when we're a team looking to try and have possession, that's that's not good enough. And Al Hadj, like, why why are you nervous? A guy that's been consistently good, like, I don't see a logic behind that. Why why is he nervous? So, yeah, we're going to definitely up the tempo. We'll go shorter. Yeah, shorter and extremely high. Is it going to change anything? <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Early highlight, though. Maybe us upping that tempo. Could be... Oh, anything our way. Anything our way. Come on. I just said that normally it is given a penalty. So let's keep true. Let's keep true and see it given to us. And I think there could be every chance we will take the penalty. And our penalty call. A bit of anticipation here. Our penalty call is. There we go. Why well, says it's that surprising? Most are given. So, Diogo... Gonzalves, you know he's been consistent, and he does it. Last time, I think I said, it wasn't like, oh, I didn't want to say he's been good at penalties, uh, <laughs> to jinx him. It doesn't matter, he's that good. You can't jinx him, and it's 1-0. Too good of penalty. Keeper probably could have saved it. Well, maybe not if it was too good. He just got in the vicinity of it, though. So Walsh with the throw. Oh, interception, brilliant. Hopefully this gets rewarded. I hope we don't waste this as well. Yes. Be oh, is that going to be given offside? Mm. It deserves a goal. It deserves a goal. Very much so. VAR is checking. Looks like it's given. 
It looked like I was, yeah, I was convinced. I knew it was close, though. I knew it was close. No, that guy was always, no, he was always on for, for, compared to that Engoy. Like, yeah, look at that. Yeah, no, I, I could always tell. I could, I could, could tell it was close, but he was never, yeah, going off. Oh, imagine making it three right now. Almost should have. But, yeah, playing very confidently at this point in time. So it's very interesting if you make a sub or not. gonsolvi has been great, but he's close to... Uh, yeah. See, Tarasuk, we probably... Uh, Pardo hasn't been great, and he's on a yellow card as well. Uh, Gonzalez, oh, that's going to be tough to play out. But what we could do, put Jean on that side, and yeah, you don't want to get me injured. Uh, Dylan Mirtz again. Let's see his current development. Okay, let's go off that quickly. I hate that screen when <laughs> a youngster, especially, he's going opposite. He's not nothing down. That's not good. But it, a lot of time, it's just training poorly. He's not getting worse. See if he comes on and does, yeah, does something efficiently, but. Yeah, we'll make those changes. Compo regardless, we're not having a lot of possession today, which is, is unfortunate because it's and almost disappointing because that's how we like uh, to initiate the play. So let's go. Tarasuk. Let's see what he does. Does he get a cross in? No, he cuts in to go Gomez. Emma Crane. This could be good. Neves gets into space. I still want him to scream at me. To He's like... Yeah, I want him to be like, sign me. He hasn't been that level of form. Because we do have a decent arrangement in. Was it a million? Uh, which I think is a pretty good deal. Optional future fee uh, of a million. Look at his value in between 160k and 1.6. Really? I just feel he could be worth a bit more than that. He's 21 years old. He's got good attributes or he's better attributes in the right area uh, for that playmaking type. Especially in Belgium. I, maybe not the top level. But here, I think he could be a very good player. So, yeah, and I think a million, it's still a bit of money to spend, but you secure a very, yeah, good youngster. Uh, and now Rami, yeah, uh, bro, he's been impressive. Every single time we bring him on, drop to two stars, still a very young player, but it, it, very efficient, very efficient um, for the side and shows what he's got in the future and maybe could overtake someone else. <laughs> Neves is there, but... Yeah, would be an interesting type to see how good he gets in comparison to someone like a Neves. A few years older, but he's still on the younger side. And looks like we're going to hold on to a pretty, in the end, a straightforward 2-0. Uh, definitely, yeah, Wallison did great. They had an XG of two, uh, three shots on target. We had five. We were the better team. Depends how much you count possession. If they didn't create good enough chances to score, yeah, their best chance is probably from a penalty. And, yeah, Wallison kept us in the game. And I think it made it easier. If we went behind 1-0, it would have made it more tough. They would have maybe had more defensive mindset. Uh, our mindset or happiness mentality yeah, might have been a bit down. Uh, but that save, I think, yeah, it boosted the other players. And I think the result shows that. So, outstretch arm, well done, lads. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, very good reactions. And that puts... Yeah, we're securing a nice, like, some form at the moment. And, like, those last three games that I've played off camera and we've won, you get an idea that when we get going, attacking game going, and some of those games as well, I made those same changes. Up, they, well, we go, like, from, like, shorter... We, we, do we move it to shorter passing? Not the... Yeah, not the minimum, like, very short, uh, much shorter. Uh, and then we up the tempo as well. And we just seem to be a, a, a lot clinical. But we don't want to play a full game like that, like, from the off, because, yeah, energy... Um, some other results there as well. But yeah, if we can start to settle in this top section here, and I mean, just challenge for the title 100%. So we're going to leave that there. As I said, we'll just save it. <laughs> and there we go. That's going to be all done. There we go. That little last section, thought about it for a bit. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. As I said, uh, hopefully uh, the normal schedule will still be, uh, you know, as per normal, uh, still getting the videos out. But, uh, you know, I could be at a point where I might need a, a, a break if I, I, I want to make the videos. You know, I kind of need to as well for the channel. But, you know, sometimes you can't push yourself. And, yeah, uh, at this point, I just need to find out uh, the feedback I get tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, it's all good. Uh, see where we're at. But, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video at least. And I'll see you guys next time.